Welcome back to the channel. As you can tell by the thumbnail and title, we're back on that red deer grind. I know everyone's doing the black bear grind, but I've yet to get that red deer or that white tail, and I really want an antler species great one before we start out on that black bear grind. Obviously, we're back on Quattro. Wait, wait a minute. Oh man, we're at Tawara. Tayawara. Why the switch? Why did we switch from Quattro Colinas to Tayawara? Well, that's why. Drink times have changed. It's now starting the same time as Quattro Colinas, and the population of red deer is insane on Tayawara. It's nothing like it was on Quattro Colinas. I mean, we just have red deer all over this map that it's just, it doesn't make sense not to do it. I've seen some guys brought it up right when the population reset happened so i decided to jump on my map check it out we ended up with a total of three level nines one guaranteed troll two diamonds nothing crazy on them uh one was a 262 and i think the other one was a 250 something to obviously over 255 uh or 251 whatever diamond is on them it's been a minute uh, no rares. Uh, whoa, we got a mythical though. Well, check that out. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yes, yes, please. But yeah, they just, they increase the population so much, it just doesn't make sense not to be on here anymore. I mean, look at this. There's four stags right there in that one herd. With that mythical coming in. And then we have the stag across the way. So what I did is I did an initial spawn check. We checked everything, made sure I didn't have anything um, as far as great ones or rares or diamonds. And we, as you guys heard, a couple diamonds. And then um, got my buddy Super Fuzz on. That guy's kind of wonky. And we ran around uh, together, made sure I had all my need zones found. And I think we found them all. So kind of what we found is nothing here. Um, nothing on this side of the uh, coast. Up here, we have a couple spots for them, red deer. A couple more here. We have one there, and I think we have a couple over here as well. And then these two lakes, these two lakes, slammed. One, two, three, four, five on this lake. Possibly more that I haven't discovered there yet. Four or five on this lake. Yeah, five on this lake. This lake is my best lake. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven drink zones there. This lake up here, I found four, probably one more right here that I didn't catch or one up here that I didn't catch. This lake, I have one as well. This lake, I didn't find anything at. This lake is where my troll nine was at and he was uh, just a guaranteed troll with a level eight, I believe. Two drink zones there, I think. Yeah, that's right. One of the diamonds was here. This lake, a couple big herds there. I believe, do I have two? Yes, just one drink zone here. Bigger diamond was here at this lake. Super Fuzz found that one for me. With a couple more drink zones there. This lake, look at that guys. Four, eight total drink zones for red deer at that lake. And I believe that was all that we found. We never found any more along the coastline or these three lakes. Um, you know what? I never did actually check this lake. I know on Super Fuzz's map because I helped him discover his map after or before helping mine. So today we'll jump onto this lake, check it out, see what we have as an initial spawn there. But the goal is uh, we're already an hour into their drink time and game time. We'll uh, be setting up tripods, hitting as many zones as we can. We're just going to do one run, uh, get the video out. I wanted to get it out to you guys, show you how awesome. Tewar is now, and it's definitely better than Quattro Kalinas. Hands down, you want to be here, and you want to be checking out this map and grinding for red deer on this map if this is what you are going for. Obviously, if you're going for black bear, this map don't matter. Enough rambling. Let's get to shooting. I want to find out where that level nine is or eight? <laughs> hey, there he is. We're gonna take him first. 300 Magnum. Oh, there was a hind there. Did not notice that.
Switching over to the 308. Don't know if we got into that guy good. No. Oh, oh come on. Will you? Well, as you can tell, it's been a minute since I've shot at Red Deer. And that is very clear. And, oh, there's a hill there. And all this terrible shooting that I just did. Yeah, but we do have that guy totally calm still. So we'll drop him. And let's go pick some up. But as you guys can tell, uh, like I was saying, I mean, just this one map, one lake, and it's just insane. We might move that tripod a little further over this way so that I can shoot these hurts. And technically when I'm running up, I'll have to shoot this guy. Unless I said tent there. And then as I run over here, that might be what we do. We'll set a tent there with the tripod. A little bit further away from these string zones so I don't spook them. Then I can hit these ones. Then as I come over here, we'll have a tripod so we can shoot there. Here we are. I believe this guy was at level six. He was playing 200 points out of one. 161 on his score. Our level eight was 212. Funky looking level eight. Playing 219. Yeah, oh, and that guy's back. Let's go ahead and take him out then since he's over there. Shouldn't, yeah, that doesn't affect us on our hunting pressure. Now that guy's out of the way. We'll uh, grab this guy, grab him. I believe we have a level seven still to grab over there. Here is this guy, another level five. Very small looking guy. Interesting ones coming off there. 135.6. I think with that, we'll leave the rest of this to not being shown since they're all small. And we're going to go check that lake that I haven't checked yet for spawns. That way, if something good is there, you guys are the first ones to see it with me. You know, I like it that way. All right, we're here at the lake. We're going to see what we have for initial spawns. It looks like we have one herd. It looks like a six and a six. They're still gonna throw up a tripod just to be safe. And don't believe we have anything else on this lake, but we'll run around, check it as well as we're here. We'll take these guys with the 300. Which is Easy enough. Hopefully, no, he's gonna die in the water. Oh, well, that one's not gonna float to me. That one is gonna float. So, we'll run pick of that one up. Since they're both sixes, won't show them. No need to show that. They were small. You guys saw them. Uh, and if we find anything else on this lake, I'll show you guys. Other than that, we're gonna jump on. Figuring out a good routine. Probably gonna be hitting these two lakes, these two lakes, coastline, and then work our way up. I'm not sure. There's a lot to hit with very little time. If you guys have a system that you think would work, basically we have from here, all the way up and around, all the way down, and then to here, basically. That whole little loop there we have to hit. We have to hit quick and fast. So I don't know if we just pick maybe like three lakes or three spots, four spots maybe that we really like. Let's see what we find. But I'm not sure. You guys give me some suggestions in the comments. How would you run this? Would you hit all the lakes or just pick your favorites and hit them since there are so many spots. It's just absolutely insane and difficult to hit everything. Well, look at that guy. Nice big level eight. Again, I mean, just look at these herds. Look at how big that is. I, I just, that one's attentive. They're all attentives. I just don't even know how I shoot all these guys. Like, I mean, I'm gonna spook those guys if I start shooting at these guys. I mean, it's just, 
I don't know. I don't know what to do. Definitely reload my gun first, that's for sure. That's just one side of the lake. That's just two drinks on. It's just... I mean... I'm really hoping for better shots than what I'm getting on these guys. Oh, that hind almost messed me up. I don't know why I'm reloading, but I am. Get that guy down, that's three. Off of that, at least. And then... Looks like we got some more over there. Not sure if they got spooked or... They're still good. Yeah, they're still good. Should be about two-something. Oh, 300, okay. Yeah, we'll, uh, boom. A boom. I shot that one already. Okay. And as long as I didn't spook them, we have two more right here. And just like that. We got him down, and as we run, we'll uh, have this herd to they'll spawn in, which is nuts. I mean, it just just it's so much better that they don't don't drink at night. At this drink zone, still that's got to spawn in. This one that still has to spawn in. That's just one lake. Man, I feel like if you wanted to, you could just hunt one lake. Like, no joke. Or just two. These two lakes. Or these two lakes. Or these three lakes. Or four right there. Like, the setup you could have is just pretty easy. Oh, that one's in the water. It's alright. We'll be ending up back over there at the tent. It's always best if they float back to a tent. If I don't have a tent, not as easy. Here's our level seven. 200.1 on his score. Ooh. Ooh, we got another level 7 over there that I didn't even notice before. Just get him down quick. Well, here's a small level 4, I believe. Level 5, 123.6. That level 7 that we got just sneaking in. 192.3. Another level 6, 180.9. Looks like that was all for that spot. And we have that herd has come back. And that herd has spawned in with a nice looking level 7. Looking like that's the biggest one in that herd. And I should have some over there. Yeah, I do. Look at that. It's just all over the place. Really, another little bitty guy. I, I love love that I get so many of those. They're supposed to be rare. But good golly, I get a lot of them. Well, okay, I think this is actually going to be a pretty good spot for this tripod because I should be able to hit that herd, that herd, then this herd, then this herd, and of course that one over there as well without spooking any of them so hopefully this works that was a bad shot at least we got it on that one yep didn't spook that herd at all so i think we'll adjust our zero reload and i thought there was two stags there just seeing the one of course, he's walking now. Let him turn. Give me a nice, good shot there, big guy. Come on now. Come on now. What, what are we doing? I'll just... Um... Okay, well, we'll uh, come back to him. Because he doesn't seem to want to move. I want to know where that seven's at first. There it is.
Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, sun's coming out. Ooh, bad shot. Let's get... Mm, I don't think I got a follow-up in that. He might not go down. That was a bad shot. I'll own it. Oh, I'm not going to get a follow-up on that. Look at that. They're already coming back. Anyways, let's uh, go to this one. Sheesh. This is just absolutely insane. Let's go pick some red deer up. How about that? I feel like I could just stay at this lake. And not have to move around at all. I mean, we're already having an hour and 15 minutes in game left till they're done drinking. I haven't even checked all the spots yet. Ooh, I don't know how I'm going to run this anymore. It's going to take multiple runs just to hit all the lakes. We've got a red deer here. He was a level 6, 155 on his score. I think his was no organs hit on one. This looks like another level 6 from the very start. No 5, 152. Definitely have some up the hill that I didn't collect. But I think that'll be alright. I'll get him at the end of the video. Well, hello. What are you doing there? Yeah, that works. And then I can just jump over to the tent and pick him up. With that, we have our level 7 here. Uh, 209.9. Yo. One floating in the water there. Looks like a small one here. 148.2 level 5. I'm not sure if I can catch up to this guy. Come here. Come here. Where are you going? Oh no. Where are you going? Where are you going? I wonder if I shoot his body again. He'll float to me. Eh. Worth a shot. Well, we'll come back from him. We'll get the other ones over there, and then I gotta check some other lakes, especially the ones where I killed diamonds. See what came in after them. I know all of them. I know what came in for him. And I know what came in for, or I don't know what came in for that one or the troll there. And I definitely want to see what spawned in in their place. Here's one. Level 6, 181. And another one. Level 5, 143.4. I'm not sure where our extra small guy went. He had that level 3 over here that we took out, but I don't see him. And like I said, I am more interested in seeing what else I have spawned in at this point than picking up all these red deer. So, let's jump to a new spot. Okay, moment of truth. We have that guy, which was there already. And... No other male to speak of other than the one that's over here, but that's weird. This is where the Troll 9 was that I killed. And I think there was some big mythical that I killed with them. Now, as the Hinds are still there, that guy's still there. He was there to exist already. I'm, um... Upset about that. I was hoping for something better than that. Don't technically need a stand now. But I think we'll do one just in case and shoot shoot up the hinds. Maybe maybe doing that will work to get the stags to respawn. Truly sure don't know how respawns work. I know everyone has their theories. Shot you fairly well. There we go. Yeesh. And we'll drop this level six over here. Heart 
trick shot, maybe? Mm, no. Mm. Mm. Oh, you th think you're getting away? Uh -uh. Mm -mm. That's a little excessive, I know, but sometimes you gotta be. Here's the little guy. Mines don't matter, so we won't check them. 125 for the little guy. Surprisingly, zero behind. But yeah, we'll run over and pick up the other stag. Move on to another spot. And our other stag. Level six, I believe. Yes, 163.5. Jump over to a couple other spots. We don't have much time. It is 919. So I definitely want to check where I killed a diamond. And see what spawned in for him. I think we'll set a tripod up right here. Jump up and see if he's in render zone of what's over there. Doesn't look like. Yeah, there we go. Level six. So I believe there was one level six already there. There we go. Level six and a level five. So, oh, and a level seven. So, unfortunately, nothing too impressive spawned in after him. Do have that guy, that guy, and that guy. I think a bunch of hinds to follow suit. Look at all those hinds. And then we have this guy. By his lonesome. We'll start there. And then we'll go over here. Looking good there. Dropped all three of those. And then a 300 meter zero. Holding slightly high. For these guys. Definitely want to start with that guy first. And probably try to get one more. No, I didn't. But he's going down, so we're good. Okay. That was some good shooting there. Good little makeup. We'll, uh... You have to probably set a tent up eventually to make this a little easier on this spot. We can run down from the outpost to there, but maybe put a little little tent right there, I think. We can jump over, collect, boom, boom. Maybe we'll put it there, and there's boom, collect, collect, collect. I'll learn how to make this run efficient. Starting out with kill number one, level six. Scoring, 161.2. Apparently I have this guy that I didn't even notice before. What was that? I'm not sure why that shot took so long to go. I'm not sure where that guy came from, but that makes total four in this spot, I believe, to go down. Find out when we get over there. As I was saying, I think we have kills two, three, and four. And eight over here. Yes, we do. So two, 152.1. 167.7 The guy we just killed, so kill number 8 at this spot 175 And this guy 154.1 That would have been kill number 4 Now we'll have to go pick up 5, 6, and 7 Over there By our waypoint Oh, this is our level 7 Kill number 5 210.10 uh, or let's see, kill number four. Out of the way, kill number five or six, 145.3. And kill number seven is this level six, I believe, or level five. Level six, 163.6. See what time we're at, 949. Well, it doesn't give us much time to check spots out. I haven't hit yet. So I think I did kill one over here. So we'll jump into this tent. See what spawned in in his place. Because I believe it was a level 8. That I killed over there. While checking out everything. And of course as we do. We might as well hit every, hit every drink zone. So I do have a tripod. That I set up before starting the video. Right here. Knowing that I would come here. For these guys. We have a level 7. Along with that. We have this level five. I believe over here we should have some as well. 
Hopefully that didn't spook them. Did not spook them. Nothing special. I'm going to see how far away they are. They are 300 something meters. So we will do a 300 meter zero after reloading. Try to take them out. I don't know why I give you guys step by step plays of what I'm going to do. But it is what I end up doing. I can't believe we got that in there. And I think we hit neck on that guy. All right. Oh, I was able to see that guy way out there. Let's see, where was he? Right there. 362 meters. Let's try it. I mean, why not? He's going down. Okay. Yes, sir. Let's go. We're going to run this way because we got the ones here. One's there. Definitely want to check these ones out. That is where level eight was. And by then the, everything is going to be moving out. So it won't be worth it to stick around and see. But I am enjoying this run and this map. A lot more than Quattro Kalinas. I have a max weight there. I believe that's probably going to be a level 7. I don't think I have any more 8s on this lake. Unless it spawned in and I hadn't caught it before. We'll find out because we'll uh, be running away from there. Well, our two that we shot after the first one. 164.2. Level 6. This guy up here. Let us see what he scored. Uh, level 5. 123.9, very small. I feel like we killed one that looked just like that earlier today, right at the start. And this guy, over here we got a level seven and a level six. Let's see if I can't get a tripod up somewhere. Doesn't look like it, so probably just gonna take them out. They're both about 200 meters. Fortunately, I can't see that level six now though. There's our level six. If he, he does not want to turn around, he just did. Should be good shots on both. Looks like it. Don't fall in the water. Okay, I think we're good. I don't think he's in the water gonna float to me. I don't have time for that nonsense. Let us turn around. I think we're far enough away now. We are. Should be able to see what that... Yep, it was a level seven over there. A couple stags, actually. Three of them. That's a neat little drink zone. I really wish I could get a tripod up right here then. It would work so great to have a tripod that I could shoot those guys from. Let's see if we can hit those guys from here. It is going to be a 300 meter zero. I definitely want to go for that level seven first. If I can find him. There he is. Nice heart shot. Nice heart shot. Double lung on that guy. Good shooting there. We're finally getting back in the groove. Like I've said before, the 300 Magnum is your friend if you are red deer grinding especially with this many to kill i'm only carrying the 300 magnum and the 308 i haven't had to switch to the 308 all that often too much yet if we can get our setup just right i'm gonna be shooting the 300 magnum majority of the time now we do have this guy i think a loner by himself with some hinds there might be another stag behind him but yeah, that's all right. Oof. Couldn't get that. Couldn't get the heart shot in him. He should die right there. Yep. And like I said, I don't think there was another stag there. Doesn't look like it. Looks like all, all Hines wanting to play. Here's the level 7. Scored 185.7. Not sure what my guy was stuck on there, but that was weird. And we got the other guy over here. Looking like... 175. 
And of course we have the one over here, the one there, and then I believe two or three over there. And the three over there where our tent is. This guy here was our final kill that we will have been making today, scoring an even 160, weighing a 199.69. Would have been awesome if he scored an even 200 on his weight and an even 160. But beggars can't be choosers. Here we go. Level six, scoring 174.9, weighing 205.78. Beautiful little stag. Now we've got this one last spot and then that spot. Looks like we only had two here. I can't remember if we did two or three. It looks like a five and a seven, 185.6. We'll take a look at that real quick. That's actually a really small seven. And I'm kind of surprised I actually would have hit gold. That's interesting. Oh, that level seven was interesting. This level seven, I can definitely tell, was a big one. Scoring 206.3. A lot better looking for level seven. That one I would actually expect to hit gold. The other one I expected not to have hit gold, but obviously they're not hitting gold because we used 300. Again, if you're wanting the trophy scores or the medals, do not use the 300. And this guy is at level six at 166.8. And our final pickup for this video, 161.6 I mean 200.1. I swear, if he hit 161 on a score, he probably would have weighed 200. Just like I was saying, I just want even score. Even score, even weight. That'd be awesome. That would, that would have been so cool. Anyways, guys, coolness aside, I'm telling you, if you're not hunting Teawara for your great one, you're missing out. Absolutely insane on these lakes, these lakes, this lake, those lakes, that lake, those, there, and the whole entire river just is slammed with red deer the population is huge this population reset was much needed it helped out Teowara so much especially now that we're not having to hunt when it's dark red deer that's the only reason i ever stayed off the map for the grind and always went to quattro is a lot easier to hunt during the daylight hours but now that this is the case Teowara is the map that you want to be grinding red deer on and i believe i found all my drink zones in uh, two drink cycles so in two cycles two hours with the help of super fuzz we found all of my zones and then we went to well technically we were on his first and we found all of his drink zones as well in two drink runs so set aside a couple hours find all your drink zones and let me know if i'm wrong i found none here i found none along the coastline over there those three lakes empty nothing along this coastline either but i mean the maps crazy populated with red deer a lot of fun i know i've been i've been saying that a lot this map is insane for red deer definitely check it out let me know what you find leave a comment below on what you find looks like we've got one warning call on us i have no idea where it was going or coming from but yeah let me know what you find and be sure to hit the like subscribe button help a brother out help the channel grow we are just growing and cruising right along and I appreciate every single one of you that stick around to my loyal fans that are commenting on every video. Much love, guys. Till next time, go enjoy a good hunt with a good friend. I'll catch you in the next one.